Okay guys, today we're doing one of my favorites. It's cooking duck. I absolutely love duck. You gotta cook it right. There's a bit of an art to it. But I like to say, if you can master the art of cooking duck, everything else will be easier in the kitchen. So today we are doing, it's the Peking duck breed. And um, I find it, it's a nicer duck breed to cook with. It's a little bit more forgiving. Um, duck, we can treat as a red meat. Okay, so basically we can cook duck rare. Today you can see that the beautiful redness in the meat. Uh, we want to make sure that we're scoring the skin and rendering that down. So first let's marinate this stuff. What we want to do is basically score the top and, and just cut. And this will help when the marinade goes in to help it marinate, but it also, it also helps during the rendering so the skin does not curl. Always important to marinate the duck, add a lot more flavor to it. I have some go-to ingredients I love using. Orange zest is always good. All the oils are inside the zest, so when we put that on, we don't have to worry about the acid cooking or curing the duck. We're gonna take our duck onto the paper towel, and then basically you want to get away any of the maple or moisture. It's all served its purpose now. The, the reason we do that and patting it dry is if the duck goes in, some of that maple can come off and actually start burning the outside of the duck. So we wanna be very careful that we don't run into that problem. Okay guys, for this one here, we wanna start on a very medium to low heat. And we're not trying to sear the duck, we're actually trying to render the duck fat down. So the best way to do that is just a touch of the grapeseed oil goes into the pan. The duck is seasoned on both sides. So as this goes in, we don't want to hear a big sizzle as that goes in. We just place it skin side down into the middle of the pan. And we're gonna watch that for the next six, seven to eight minutes. And watch that fat slowly render, caramelize, and get nice and crisp for us. So you can see that the duck still is slowly cooking down. The biggest mistake people make is they have the duck on too high of a heat. So right now it's a really slow, slow and low and in control. That's the best way to remember doing duck. We want that duck to render and get really crispy for us, okay? So just be patient. And now at this point, we can flip it over and then we can start cooking the other side, okay? So you're getting that nice sort of mahogany color over the top and that's coming really from the maple that's caramelized on top. So one of the things that's tricky for some people is always checking the doneness for duck. Um, you can treat it like red meat. So rare would be 120 to 125 degrees Fahrenheit. Medium rare 125 to 130. So usually when this reads at 125, I'll pull the duck off and then I allow it to rest. Big mistake people make a lot of time with meats is they just don't allow them to rest. Allow it to rest. When we slice the duck, what we want to do is we actually want to put the skin side down on the board, okay? So as we slice through, basically allowing the knife to do the work every time. And look at that. Look at that beautiful meaning. And hear that crunch as I go through the crispy duck skin on the other side. And then when that goes onto a dish, you can easily fan that duck breast out. And just look at that. Look at those beautiful pieces of meat. Beautiful medium rare. So I fan that out for you on the cutting board so you can really see that meat distribution. You can see how we render down the fat. It's nice and crispy. Make sure you allow that duck to rest and you'll end up with just a more moist and beautiful juicy duck, okay?